Hello, um, this is Wawrz Dobraki. I'm Associate Professor of Bioengineering um, and Medicine at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And this is a short tutorial of um, how to use uh, the Amide software to analyze uh, the um, uh, PET CT images. So let's start with the um, where we can download the software. So if we enter the um, address Amide dot sf dot net <clears throat> so that's the website for the MIT medical image uh, data examiner um, um, the system the, the software can be installed on Linux uh, Macintosh OS um, and Windows um, it's available free to all the users um, and we'll be using uh, this software for um, the this demonstration so after we click um, on the icon, the Amite um, will open the window where we have two sections of the software. One is the um, where the um, all the studies will be listed. On the right side, uh, there will be images. I already created, um, downloaded the um, image, uh, which I can open the study. It's on my desktop. <clears throat> when we open up. Uh, the software um, and load in the um, the three-dimensional tomographic image. So this is the FDG PET <clears throat> together with the CT uh, um, acquired on the mouse. <clears throat> so we see two um, images um, superimposed together. So we have uh, a PET um, which we can switch on, switch off and same with the CT. So this is a PET image where we see the activity within the heart, we see within the, um, the bladder, so this is radioactive urine, and these are um, the eyes, um, and we can also look at the activity in the brain. Um, the CT, um, superimposed CT, we can switch off the PET um, scan and observe only the, the CT um, scan. So what we can do, um, we can um, change the color scale. So let's say let's switch off the CT um, scan and with a right click, um, we can open up uh, the other window with different options. We can go to the color map um, and change, for example, different type of um, color map. Uh, let's me choose the uh, NIH white. <clears throat> I will close um, here so we see a different type of uh, color map. Sometimes it's good to uh, choose a different nonlinear um, color map for um, the PET images, where traditionally the CT will be used um, as a grayscale. Um, let me go back to our original um, data map, uh, the color map. Um, so what we can do else um, with the um, sliders here, so we can go through the whole three-dimensional data set uh, where we can observe different planes. Um, same, we can go through the coronal sections and through the sagittal sections. So we can um, observe the changes in the activity depending on where we uh, where we cut the animal or the the, um, the image. So um, the main goal of this demonstration is to um, show how we define the regions of interest um, on on the um, data set. So let me um, what we'll do today um, we'll select region of interest within the heart and we'll calculate the um, counts how many counts are um, within the region of interest. So after we select the, uh, the PET scan, uh, we can go to edit, we can add region of interest, add ROI, and here we got the selection of different regions of interest, ellipsoid, elliptic cylinder box, uh, 2D and also 3D uh, isocontour and freehand regions of interest. Um, because the heart is more cylindrical in shape, so I'm going to use the elliptic cylinder. So after selection this option, I need to enter the name uh, for the region of interest. Let me um, enter the test ROI. I click OK. 
And now I need to select um, uh, where the cylinder will be placed. So um, let me use this, the transverse section, and I'm going to click over here. Um, so now the software will ask me about the depth of the region of interest, um, express in millimeters. Let me just um, select 20 millimeters just for now. And we still don't see actually region of interest on the image. However, on the data set list, um, we see there is a test ROI um, created. So with the right click, we can select um, some other options to modify. Let's go to dimensions. And within the dimensions, we can um, observe that the Z direction, so the depth, it's already um, defined, uh, which we defined in the previous step, but the X and Y are still zero. So let me change that to, let's say, seven millimeters on each and click close. So now our region of interest in form of the cylinder is shown on the image. So um, the region of interest, we can, by clicking on the left um, button mouse and drag, we can just move it uh, in the data set. Let's say, for example, we position like that. And we can also uh, change the dimensions going back to the test ROI with the right click. We select the dimensions. So let's consider that the Z direction is too large and let's change to uh, 10 millimeters. So after we click uh, close, uh, so our cylinder region of interest um, has been reduced to uh, seven millimeters uh, X and Y and 10 millimeters um, on the, in the Z direction. So what we can do with this uh, region of interest? Well, we can calculate the amount of counts. So uh, to calculate, um, get the number in counts per, um, for example, counts per pixel. So we go to uh, tools and the last option is calculate regions of interest statistics. When we click this, now we can select um, different options. So for example, we are interested only on selected data set. So selected data set is PET, um, FDG PET and selected regions of interest because that's what we'll be counting here. So uh, test ROI, uh, we'll be calculating over all voxels and also uh, make sure that we uh, select the more accurate quantitation, which is slower, but it's only slower on the very, uh, uh, very slow machines in normal uh, computers, typical computers, it will be very quick. So let's click execute. And we have a new uh, window appeared here uh, where we have the um, ROI name. Uh, in the second column, we have a data set. So we are interested in FDG PET. And these are now the values associated with the region of interest. So the mean value is the uh, number of uh, uh, counts per pixel. Uh, this is the standard deviation, minimum, maximum. This is the size of our region of interest, so 384.944 uh, cubic millimeters. And this is number of voxels. So um, this information, um, so the mean value multiplied by number of voxels, it will be the information about the total um, counts within the volume of interest um, over here. So we can uh, record those um, information on the piece of paper, or we can save um, as the uh, tab separated values, which can be open with the uh, any worksheet. So let me just cancel this and we can uh, close. So um, this concludes this very basic, very uh, brief uh, tutorial on how to draw the regions of interest on the um, tomographic images using MIT software.